Hi everyone, it's Sari here. I am the Style Coach. If you're new to my channel, you are very welcome and welcome back to all the subscribers. My channel is all about style and a lot about sustainable style and also personal development. So if that's your thing, please stick around and take a look at my other videos too. Today's video is all about finding your undertones. This is incredibly important if you are going to move towards a capsule wardrobe or just finding colors that work for you and bring out the best in you. I know it causes a lot of confusion and I've seen several other videos out there on YouTube on the subject. I'm gonna give you several different ways that you can try to identify your undertones, whether they're cool or warm or neutral, and I'm going to offer you one foolproof way that never fails, <laughs> so stick around for that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and let's get started. One of the easiest ways to take a look at your undertones is to look at your veins in soft daylight. So what I mean by that is the sun is not beaming down on you, it's not the middle of the day, nor is it golden hour, so that time when sun is just rising or the sun is setting, because that will automatically give you a warm glow. The ideal weather for looking at these kind of things is to have a soft light, which is often created by clouds. Clouds actually diffuse the sunlight, much like you would have in a photographer's studio, so they have diffusers to soften the light. That's the kind of light you're looking for. So nothing that's too harsh, uh, nothing where you're in shadows, of course, as well. So you want to have a nice, soft light. Also remember that having false tan on or any kind of tinted moisturizer is going to interfere with identifying your undertones. Taking a look at the veins in your wrist now, have a look and see if you can see any particular blue colors or any particular green colors. So if you're seeing blue or possibly a little bit of purple, you are most likely going to be on the cooler side. If you are seeing green veins, then it is most likely that you have warm undertones. However, it could also mean that you have olive skin tones. So that's the color that sits on the surface of your skin. We're not talking about undertones here. This is where people can get confused. If you are seeing both, then you could well have neutral undertones. However, if, if your veins are looking green, it could mean that you have olive tones in your skin or it could mean that you have warmer undertones. So again, this is not like a foolproof way of identifying your undertones. And that's why it's best to seek out somebody who's actually trained in color consultation so that they can properly identify your undertones. Another little simple test that you can do right now at home is to grab either a white towel, so it must be white, no kind of creams or anything like that, so it must be white, or you can grab a white piece of paper. Now again, for this, you want to make sure that you are free of makeup, free of false tan or tinted moisturizer on your face or body for this. So you can hold up the towel or the piece of paper up under your chin or around your neck. Now, if you have recently washed your face, it can bring out redness in your skin. This is not what you want. So you want to have your skin nice and relaxed. Um, you haven't kind of rubbed anything into it in, uh, in you know, the last hour or something. So nice and relaxed skin. I think it's also a good uh, test if you hold the paper to your neck rather than up towards your face. Much like going to a makeup counter, you will match your foundation to your neck rather than to your face. So a good indication of your undertone can come from your neck. For this little experiment, you also want to be sitting at a window with the light kind of coming in on you, not like with harsh shadows across your face. And again, you want that soft diffused light. So not something very harsh that's going to kind of beam in on your face and distort the colors that you see. Now, when you hold the paper or the towel up towards your neck or your face, you're looking for different things. If you have warmer undertones, you will notice more yellow tones in your skin, golden tones, peach tones in your skin. These are all indicators of warm undertones. However, if you notice more pink tones or even ashy tones, 
possibly even blue tones in your skin, then you are likely to have cool undertones. And if you notice that your skin appears to be green, don't worry about that, <laughs> you're not an alien. You are a person with olive tones to your skin. So again, this is not an undertone, this is a tone that sits on the surface of your skin, giving it a slightly green appearance. People with olive undertones can often lean towards the cooler side. Not always, so again, worth consulting a professional on this. My next little trick for identifying your undertone is probably the most reliable one so far, I would say. Uh, still not 100%, but uh, it's worth trying anyway. So looking at your jewellery collection, do you have mostly gold in your collection or do you have silver? Now you've got to ask yourself, what is it about those metals that makes you wear them? Is it because you think they suit you best? Or is it because you just prefer gold over silver for maybe it's value or something? But if you are wearing it because it suits your skin, then it is likely that that is an indicator of warm or cool. So if you wear gold jewelry, you're more likely to have warm undertones. And if you wear silver, then it's likely that you have cool undertones. If you have a mix of both and you think that both suit you, you might have neutral undertones. So you can get away with wearing both and they will look pretty good on you. Another question that's kind of tossed about when it comes to color analysis is whether you are more likely to burn in the sun or if you are more likely to tan in the sun. Now, if you're more likely to tan, you are more likely to have warmer undertones. If you burn, you're more likely to have cool undertones. I don't think this is a definitive answer at all. Uh, I know plenty of people who are um, in the spring category, so they would have warm undertones and they would burn quite easily. So don't take this as gospel. It is open to interpretation and different opinions. I'm just giving it as an option to you. Another question to ask yourself is, do you have freckles on your face? And if you do, it is likely that you have warm undertones, but however, again, it's not 100%. I think this gets especially ambiguous as people grow older, because as you do grow older, your skin suffers more damage and you will have maybe age spots on your skin, which can often be confused as freckles and give a false indication for warm undertones. So a good question to ask yourself is, well, what was my skin like as a child? When I was younger, I had no freckles on my face. My, my face was very clear. And as I grew older, I do have some sun damage naturally as you age. I do wear SPF every day, by the way. <laughs> but this is something that happens as you grow older. So if you are getting your color, colors done, you know, when you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever, you will see changes in your skin. So it's a nice idea to ask yourself, well, what was my skin like when I was a bit younger? Did I have freckles? Did I tan easily? Did I burn? You know, what, was, what were those characteristics of your skin? So when somebody asks you, well, do you have freckles? And you say, yeah, this is not an indication of warm undertones. Not always anyway. Now I did promise you a foolproof way to identify undertones. And I don't know if this is gonna be good news or bad news for you, but it is going to be putting colors up to your face in the form of a color consultation. Colors will always tell you whether you sit on the cool side or the warm side, whether you can handle highly saturated colors or more muted colors, or whether you can handle lighter colors or deeper colors. It removes all the guessing and the headaches when it comes to shopping and investing in key pieces and you're wondering if you're wasting your money on these items that don't really work for you and you're building a wardrobe out of things that, you know, <laughs> they're not gonna bring out the best in you. So getting a color consultation is going to be the one true way of finding out your undertones. But lo and behold, we find ourselves in a global pandemic and 
in-person consultations are not really a thing right now. The good news is I offer online colour consultations where I virtually drape you to find your best colours in the same way I would do in a colour consultation in person. Most of my clients have been in Ireland, however, have worked with clients internationally in New York, in California, in London and uh, across the globe. I can't think of the other places right now. So if you are curious and you really want to find out what suits you best, do get in touch with me and um, we'll set that up. That's it for today's video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you learned something new here or if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.